Hey guys, Corey NWF here, don't you know? And today we're playing some Bloons TD Battles 2. And as you can see, we're at 99 trophies, so I need one more win uh, for Hall of Masters. So let's get it. So we've got On the Gas as our first opponent uh, for the day. And I'm just trying to get to Hall of Masters here. Good luck. This is a good map for us. He's also got Druid, so I wonder if he's doing the same strat as we are. So good luck, have fun, and GG's only. Let's go ahead and jump on in and see what we can do for Tade. And by the way, guys, if you're new to the channel, you're in fact most welcome. Police. Consider liking and subscribing. I do have a goal of five likes in this video and just one new subscriber. And I mean, that could be you watching right now. So we got these druids down. I go for the 001 and then we're going for a 002. Constant sending red eco. We do run out of money, pretty standard. And now we go for a 001. And as soon as we can afford right up on our next eco boost here we're going to put this on last and go for the 002 and put the other one on last as well so both our druids are on last and we sent to 350 right around we over sent a little bit there that's okay typically you send to about 350 and then you set down your uh your hero so let's get our hero down perfect got him just before round three you want to leak to about 70 lives, and we're at 80. So it's not a 100% buff. It's a 90% buff, but, you know, well played. Got to give credit where credit's due. He's at 73. So he's got the heart, probably knows us. So looking good. At this point, I don't know that it's worth risking trying to leak 10 more lives. Uh, some of the pros can do it. Uh, I don't think that's me, but... I'm pretty good at leaking, but on command like that, like, mm, I don't know about all that. So they have farm and I'm very confused right now. I have seen some strats on short maps like Glade where they go Druid uh, sub farm or they go Druid farm spike factory. And by having the farms, they're able to send us like round 18 fortifieds. And if we boost, then round 19, they'll send all out fortified Moabs, which can be difficult to defend depending on where we're at. Um, something I have seen. I don't think that's going to happen on this map. Uh, this is a difficult map to rush Druid on. A lot of people have asked me, Corey, how do we layer on Druid? And honestly, I feel like that'd be a good question for Ryan Mihalik. Uh, I think Druid is very difficult to layer on, especially Druid sub-ice. And especially on this map. Like, if they have Boomer and, like, the Glaive Ricochet, because, it, because this, like, comes around a second time, uh, very hard to layer on. And uh, with the Lightning and then you've got the Reactor... Uh, it just really breaks down a lot of the smaller balloon rushes. So, and by the time you get to Moabs, if they have one or two uh, farms up already for their druid farms, uh, all you have to do is break down the Moab layer. And, you know what I mean? It, they're able to just destroy ceramic balloons underneath. So, this is the uh, reactor spot I've seen a lot of people use. I guess it's more efficient. I usually put my reactor spot way at the bottom, but I'm trying this reactor spot up. Is I guess this is where the pros put it, uh, which makes sense. It covers more of the map initially and just a tiny bit at the end. So, But we're sending space balloons, and now we're just saving up for our reactor. And I'm going to get this right here, and that's a sub that I want on strong for sure and we'll upgrade that eventually as well typically round 11 to round 12 i'm able to afford the reactor 
and I can go for a 402. And I am sending Blue Eco just because I'm trying to save up money here. And I only have one round to do it, round 12. And eventually, now round 13, I have to send Yellow. It just is what it is. And we're going to send some Yellow Eco. We are out, but. I like to get the 020 sub on strong and get it ready to upgrade for the ballistic in case he sends anything, which with our defense, with the ballistic, we shred any balloon rush that I can see him sending. So looking good there. Standard play, just ecoing. His farms are looking good. I may have to send him, I don't know if Moabs would be enough or a BFB. I think a ZOMG rush would help slow down his farms, even though it cost us a lot of money. Also, really depending, because he has the defense he has, he doesn't have uh, Ice or Ninja, I could send a regular ZOMG followed by a fortified ZOMG. And if they first strike too soon... The Fortified is the strongest on the map, and it gets broken down into a bunch of BFBs. So it's a really OP rush because the first strike will stay on the strongest balloon, and that means everything else would have to target the first ZOMG. So hopefully I described that okay. I'm sure you know the rush I'm talking about. Same thing, round 30, will they send a normal bad, and then followed by a Fortified bad. So all the first strikes will be on the Fortified bad, and that first bat is getting through without any hits from the first strikes. Uh, also a really OP rush as well. I've seen people use. So We're able to fit three of these uh, pretty much in a line. Uh, I've noticed that on Sands of Time and here. That if you put the druids really close to each other. A line of three will still be within his... Uh, still within his search there, so within his site, so you can place that all in there, but we're totally fine. Any rush he sends, as you can see, we just destroy. The ballistic is OP. Nothing he can really do. We're equaling, equaling. We're going to get that. There we go. Jungle Bounty looking good, looking good. And... Yeah, his farms are just looking really good. I don't know that I can just let him farm like that. You know? I'm just really nervous. It's like, <laughs> oh, man. Let's get this placed up front with the trees. There we go. Just because, man, we're at 99, and I really want to get to 100 because I've been stuck in ZOMG. Every season I get stuck in ZOMG for a week or two. I just want to get to Hall of Masters, you know what I mean? We're on a four or five game win streak right now to be here. And hopefully we can pull this off. Um, we're looking good. The question is, typically I would save up to about $11,000 and then I would send. So... I think we're going to have to. The fact he hasn't gone for... Okay, there he, he went for it. Okay, very interesting. So now we'll send. Okay. Regular. And now we want to follow up with a fortified. Are we seriously like $50 off? Now let's send the fortified. If he would have first strike that in time... um. He could have first strike that right away, but he did not. So that first ZOMG could get through. He does have some defense doing damage to it. So I don't expect this to take him down, but I do expect it to slow down his farming, and he's got to micro his first strike here. So it is a very sneaky rush too. So let's get our trees up, and we're just going to continue... Druid farming here. Yeah, his farms are phenomenal. Those are pushing all the way around. I'm surprised he hasn't first striked yet. 
I'm sure the damage is there, but see how like that holographic, the holographic, he can't tell how much damage is done. So I'm not saying it's cheating because it's part of the game, but that's part of the reason I have that holographic. You can't tell how much damage is done. So you know what I mean? Okay, he first striked. So now all he has to do is another first strike. So he'll easily defend this by... Oh, it broke down! Oh! <coughs> no way! No way! It broke down. Did he choke? Oh! Let's go! Let's go! That's so unlucky! Oh, well played. Good game. Good game. Oh, he ended up choking. That's so unfortunate. If he would have first striked in time... But it broke into BFBs before he could. So, well, that's Hall of Masters, guys. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. So, probably more to come this weekend with my placement games. We're definitely going to play. And uh, I'm just super stoked right now. Very excited about this. Look at that. Five-game win streak from 95 trophies all the way to 100. And uh, we made it, guys. Hall of Masters is ours. And we're have our placement games and man i did not expect that to work <laughs>